Hey everybody, welcome to a new Scratch Junior project. Um, I use this one as one of my first grader projects to really task them with doing multiple screens. This is also cross-curricular uh, with science because we're going to do a safari. Um, and I'll also uh, mention that it uses a lot of messaging code. So it's a good lesson for um, teaching the students how to use the messaging codes. So the way this works is that, and I won't play the whole thing, but when you hit play, you're basically going to interact with animals um, and say an interesting fact about that animal and that specific geographic location. Hi, so, I'm, a hi giraffe. I'm a giraffe. My heart is My heart so is big, so it weighs 25, 25 pounds. pounds. I need it to pump it to the, blood the blood all the way up the way my big up neck, my to, big my neck brain. to my brain. So that's just the first scene, and then it'll jump to the next one where you interact with a lizard and a monkey in this one, and then the next one I've got a duck and a snake, and then next one I've got a penguin. Um, so this is a really fun activity uh, the students really enjoy. The first step I have them do in this is to just create their backgrounds. So I say, like, the first day's goal is to create each of the four screens and then an associated sprite in each one that has to do with that geographic region. So the giraffe for this one, we got a monkey and a lizard for the jungle. Um, they really only need one, but we can do two if they want to add them later. The duck and the snake for the river, and then the penguin for the snow environment. Um, and then, so that's the first day, backgrounds and sprites. And then day two, they're mainly going to start working through some of these commands. And you'll see here, there, um, the way this one works is for we've got myself and they can put their own face in their sprite there and then I'm going to jump jump say something let's go on an animal safari I have a delay code and then I'm sending a message out um, and the message is going to go to the giraffe okay so let's go to the giraffe when the giraffe receives a message it's going to show itself and then it's gonna to walk to the left closer to me and it's gonna say what I recorded about my heart being, you know, 25 pounds. And then it sends a message back to me. And then I say, that's interesting, let's go to the jungle. And then we're off to the jungle. Um, now this process kind of repeats itself in each one, right? So if we start with me here, this one has a little bit more interaction because um, the lizard comes and the lizard actually eats me. It's quite amusing. The kids think it's hilarious. Um, jump, jump, jump. Let's look, go to the jungle. And then I'm back over to the monkey. Monkey comes over, does its little monkey swinging loop um, back and forth. Monkey talks to me about being a monkey and some interesting fact about the monkey. And then it sends a message over to me again, um, where I say something about, oh, look, it's a lizard. Send the message to the lizard. Lizard comes and says, oh no, I'm a Komodo dragon actually. And then the lizard eats me, by the way, which is why this green code goes back to me. And then I get eaten and go, oh no, the Komodo dragon ate me. Um, so this obviously is a little bit more <laughs> extensive, but this would be an example of a student that finishes early if you want to give them something interesting to do. Um, but really you only need the pattern that discusses what's happening with each animal. So it's just a minimum of one animal and then you, the safari guide. Same thing here. Welcome, we're here at the river. Send a message to the duck. The duck swims over, says something important about a duck, sends a message out, and then it runs away and hides because the snake's also gonna get this message and the snake's gonna try to eat the duck. And then it sends its yellow message and then when I get the yellow message, we go to our last screen, which is the Arctic. And in the Arctic, I say, welcome to the Arctic. Look, there's a penguin, send a message to the penguin. You get it with the message codes back and forth. Uh, this one, it looks really crazy because the message uh, to the penguin is, look, I can swim, I can go really fast on my belly. And then the penguin goes in this crazy loop where it uh, flies around on its belly. That's why it's like super long here. Um, and then the red message goes back to me and I say, well, thank you for watching. Goodbye, it's cold here. Let's go back to the savanna. So actually it goes into like a continuous loop. Uh, but this is the safari game. Uh, so really fun to do with younger kids. Um, I'll also point out um, a few things that might be relevant to your students. One is that not all students can type words really well. So 
These um, bubble commands may not work for everybody. Um, for my students who can't type really well or um, put together words really well because they're still learning um, how to write, this is difficult. So I'll leverage the microphone more for those students and they can just dictate into it. Another thing is that I actually have a list of facts that I put together for all of the animals. So in the animal screen, I actually put that into generative AI and came up with a document of five interesting facts about each animal. So they can refer back to that document um, to get their interesting facts about an animal that they can put into their project. Um, so that's another way to help uh, give them something to say about their animal. So you've got language arts here, you've got science, um, and you've got programming. And that's it. Thank you for watching.